Evergreen Buffet is a local Chinese restaurant, and they now have a new food waste policy in place. This restaurant, it will be 23 years next month. So we started at the March of the 1999. Uh, I think when the state had the order on the 20, I think it was the, the government they wanted to say that all the restaurants should be closed for the, the COVID. So we, we closed on the same day that they got it ordered out. This new policy is telling customers what they throw away, they will be charged by the to-go rate. The new policy is more like, you know, like I try to say about the inflation right now, so because of all the inflation going on, because you're doing a buffet, so all the food is there for people to get, you know, so. Now, due to religious beliefs, the next person interviewed was a head waitress. She was not allowed to show her face, but she was able to sit down and do an audio interview with me. So basically, we are just trying to keep the food costs down for the customers, um, and we we are averaging around 360 gallons of food waste a day. I understand their policy. Uh, I've actually talked about it, not with any concern, but I, it's my understanding that the exception of this policy was because a lot of people would come in, since it's a buffet, fill their plates up, there was a lot of food waste. Uh, so, like, a lot of time, customers just get more than they able to eat it, so they just left the food on the table because everything is, is we call all you can eat, you know? So, we really don't want people to waste anything. We understand a little bit of food waste, but, um, like, to have full plates, four or five plates full to throw away, it's, it's crazy how much food we throw away because at the end of the day, we also throw the entire buffet away. The policy is in place due to COVID-19 and is going to be run until further notice. Just say time to support all the small local business. I think not only us, all the local, I, I think all the small local business deserve support because we are the one that the hurting the most by the pandemic, you know. Reporting for TV2, I'm Ryan Struthar.